We are here, everybody. Persona 3 Reload is finally out. I am so happy to be playing this. Um, Persona is one of my favorite series. If you are new to the channel here, if you're finding me just with this series for the first time, uh, just know I have a whole bunch of other Persona games out here on the channel. Go and watch them. We actually played Persona 3 Portable last year when it came out. Honestly, when that game came out, I wasn't sure if Persona 3 Reload was ever going to happen. There had been a lot of rumors over the years, for many, many years going back, that they were going to make a remake of this game. And there was just nothing that Atlas was giving us to give us any solid evidence that it was truly happening. So it was mostly just rumors, um, some, some screenshots that could have been fakes, those sorts of things. But we did finally get it here, and uh, I had almost given up. Uh, people were asking me to do Persona 3 uh, as a playthrough on the channel for a really long time. And I was trying to put it off because of the rumors about this game in particular. And then when they announced that uh, they were going to have the uh, HD remaster of Portable, I thought, uh, well, I guess that's it. I guess they're not making the remake. And so I went ahead and did that. So last year we actually did do a playthrough of that game. But honestly, that just means that we're going to have... A really, really fine time comparing and contrasting between Persona 3 Portable and Persona 3 Reload. Now, my history with Persona 3 is that I have never played either the original on PS2 or Fez on PS2. Um, I have only ever played Portable, and I played it um, twice. Uh, once last year on the channel, and then once on my own many, many years ago. So, um, you know, I'm very, very excited to get into this. I really love this game. I really love this series, so yeah, I'm very excited. Um, we are going to be doing the English voice actors. English VO is going to be good here. Now we are playing on PC, uh, but I am playing with my PS5 controller, so you'll notice that all of our uh, button prompts and whatnot are PlayStation, um, but we are playing 4K on PC. Um, I will have my PC settings in my description if you want to check that out. Uh, for this game, I'm suspect I'm expecting that it's not that um, graphically intense. Uh, that being said, we're going to make sure that this is on high. I don't necessarily know what increasing that above 100% would do, but shadow quality maxed out. We're going to lower the brightness just a tiny bit. Frame limit is 60. Reflections on. And let's see, display, that's good. As you can see, we are playing in 4K. And in sound settings, we're gonna bump those two down just a little bit and leave volume up. Okay. I think those were the only things that I needed to change in settings. Let's get into it. I think one of the most, if you're gonna, you know, 
I don't think anybody's actually going to be surprised by this, but one of the things I'm most excited about is some of the new audio tracks. Um, in that intro, that new song just already has got me off to a great start. So I'm very, very excited going into this, hearing whatever new music is going to be there. Uh, when I watched the character trailers for this game, um, at the very, very end, there was a very, very short snippet of another new song that I don't know what it's called, um, but that snippet had me very excited. I was like, ooh, I want to hear the rest of that song. So let's get into it. We're starting a new game. We're going to be playing on hard, not merciless. Um, generally, I like a decent challenge, but I don't like to have to repeat myself over and over again um, when Merciless might end up having to do that. So usually one up from normal is where I like to be. So we're going to be playing this game on hard. This is pretty normal for this channel. Um, we always go basically one above whatever the default uh, option is. For players who enjoy strategizing, significantly challenging combat. Your choice of difficulty will not affect the story and can be changed at any time, excluding Merciless. Okay. We'll be sticking with hard. We're going to be totally fine on hard. Time waits for no one. All are equal in its flow, all life's born to their ends. You who would protect the glimmer of the finite future. You have a single year. Go forth and live in the time given to you. Even in these halcyon days of repose, let your heart guide you and never stray from its path. These, the new cutscenes I'm so excited for. I believe I heard somewhere that Studio Wit did all of the traditional animation in this game. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. vibes in this game off the charts I arrived so late I'd better hurry up Iwatodai dorm that's where I'll be staying from now on should be just up ahead all right <laughs> why am I so excited already oh my goodness okay looks like the power's out Seems like the place is under construction. Probably best if I don't trespass. Better keep my distance. It looks a little dangerous. The light in the phone booth is off. Guess the power's out. That blood on the floor? Iwatodai strip mall. We're already getting a little preview of some of these areas. This is a little odd. Is this a coffin? I 
wonder what's in these things. They're everywhere. Okay, we can head to the dorm over that direction. Let's just uh, take a quick look over here. Um, something already that I'm noticing. Ooh, look at that menu. Oh, that's nice. Okay. We knew that the menuing was going to be real nice in this game. Um, I think I'm going to need V-Sync on. As long as that doesn't have a detrimental effect on my recording, I think that's going to be better for both you and me. Okay. All right, I'll keep an eye on that, make sure that the recording doesn't look like it did anything weird. Where did everyone go? Won't budge. Okay, let's head to the dorm. Oh, well, I guess this is it. screen. Welcome. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. If you wish to proceed, Sign your name here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. All it says is that you accept full responsibility for your actions. Please sign your name here. Analog, vernacular. Did I spell that correctly? You sure did. Didn't even read the contract. Look, you can only see the bottom of it. Not a smart way to go about signing a contract, gotta say. From a creepy child. Good. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. You can't plug your ears or cover your eyes. And so, it begins. Who's there? here at this hour. Don't tell me. Wait! Huh? The lights! I didn't think you'd arrive so late. Oh, I love the music in this game so much. I know we just played this game last year, but it's so good. These portraits look incredible, by the way. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in this dorm. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a second year this spring, just like you. Call me Takeba. I'm sorry, but why do you have a gun? Huh? Well, uh, it's sort of like a hobby? I mean, <laughs> not a hobby, but... You know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. It's not a real gun, of course. A it's deterrent. Sure. You'll find your room at the end of the hall on the second floor. Your things should already be there. Why don't you get some rest? Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. 
Okay, so there are some new voice actors for some of these roles. So far, so good though. Here's your room. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's all the way at the end here. Um, do you have any questions? I'm also not one that really gets bothered by that, um, and Atlas has always done a pretty good job with, um, with their voiceovers in English, so I'm honestly not concerned about it, so. I'm sorry, but what was that contract for? Huh? Contract? What are you talking about? Yukari doesn't seem to know what I'm talking about. Uh, can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? What do you mean? You don't know? I guess that means you're fine. <laughs> well, okay. Don't worry about it then. Just a lot of coffins and blood. I'd better get going. Nothing too out of the ordinary, though. Um, I'm sure you still have questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night. Life in the dorm starts today. The room came pre-furnished and everything. I'm spent. I should put my things in the closet and, uh, and get to bed early. Saving your game progress. Alright, we can press start button. When you save your game, it also saves a little bit of your pass. You can go back to time by opening the menu with triangle, going to system, and selecting rewind. So yeah, I think that's a new thing. It's like kind of like a checkpointing system in the game. When you select a rewind slot, you will be returned to a point where you could roam freely shortly before you saved your game. Note that the rewind function does not save your new starting point automatically. If you use this function, make sure you continue to save your game as necessary. You can check the tutorials that have been displayed before by opening the menu with triangle, going to systems, and selecting tutorial. Alright, we're going to make our first save. How many slots do they give us? 15? We'll use every single one of them. Alright, so when we go into that menu, we can hit triangle? No, not here. That might be in this menu. There's the rewind. Right there. Okay. My reflection looks tired. Look at that. Actual ray traced reflections. In my Persona game? Hell yeah, dude. I should put my stuff away and go to bed early. Purchase DLC can be redeemed by checking the closet in your room. I don't buy DLC from Atlas. Their DLC practices are a little bit shady. Not my favorite, if I'm being honest. Um, I don't like DLCs that make the game easier, so um, a lot of uh, day one DLC that Atlas does um, definitely is not at my alley. So I should put my stuff away in the closet. Yeah, I don't even think we got any pre-order bonuses or anything. Nothing on the shelf yet. I should probably rest on the bed instead of sitting in the chair. Alright. Got our calendar. Sleeping in your bed will allow you to advance forward in time, proceeding to the next day. School starts tomorrow. I should go to sleep early, so I'm ready for the first day of school. Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep okay? I've been asked to show you the way to school. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Great, let's set out. That was a different rendition of the song. This is how we'll be getting to school every day. It's a monorail. Pretty cool, huh? I honestly love the ride here. It almost feels like we're flying over the ocean. Oh, by the way, our school's at the last stop on this line. It's called Tatsumi Port Island. Have you heard of it? The whole thing's man-made, and our school's smack dab in the middle. Oh, look! There it is now! Morning. Well, 
Here we are. Allow me to welcome you to Geku Khan High School. I hope you like it. You'll be okay on your own from here, right? Let's see. I guess you should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is over there on the left. They'll tell you more when you get there. Well, that about does it. Any questions before I go? Which class are you in? Me? I don't know. I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Hey, about last night. Don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you. Like I said before, nothing out of the ordinary, just coffins and blood. There's a crowd forming in front of the bulletin board. Maybe I'll take a peek before going to the faculty office. All right, um, we have a free roaming camera. Pressing R3 will recenter. Hold up to focus your view closer in on the protagonist um, and back will reset the camera. In some locations, the camera will be locked in place. Whenever it's available, using the camera will help you get a good sense of your environment. Okay. There's no need for them to post the names of the kids that were going to be in our class. I mean, we'll never see them again after we graduate anyways. Hmm. Oh, there, oh it is. there it is. Class F, huh? Oh my god. Alright, so here's what I've heard. Here's what I've heard. Everybody who's a social link, their social links are fully voiced. Now, does that also mean that everything they say is voiced? Kenji, my boy, are you going to speak actual words every time we talk to you? That is amazing if that's the case. Homeroom teacher is... What? Miss Toriyumi? What's wrong with Miss Toriyumi? I guess she is older than me, but I was hoping to be with Miss Kano. <laughs> All right, we'll, um, we'll be hearing more about that later. Oh, great. I have the worst teacher ever. What? I don't see my name. What should I do? Uh, what should I do? Okay. Um, so yeah, it looks like um, they have a system to tell us who we've talked to, which I really, really like. Alright, I think actually the recording might be better with this. I'll double check after I'm done recording, but I may just have to deal with a little bit of V-Sync on my end so that your recording looks as good as it can. Oh, hello. Uh, what do you mean, why? We've got practice after class, remember? But we've got to attend the opening ceremony and go to class before all that. Hurry and head into your classroom so you can change into your normal uniform. What? But I just... Okay, okay, fine. Just quit glaring at me. So where's the bulletin board with all the class assignments? It's literally right there, Cause. You're in class F. <laughs> I'm in a different homeroom, so I can't keep an eye on you all the time. You got that? Yuko, you're a good friend. Good grief. Kids these days don't know how to show respect for their elders. We're their teachers. We've lived longer than them. But Moriyama and her friends had to pull that on me at the very beginning of the term. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I need to get back to managing the shop. <sighs> Even you're shooing me away? Some way to start the school year. I don't think my nerves can take this. Oh dear. Uh, all right, all right. You want me to order more of those cream-filled breads you like so much? You could, you could have just asked. <laughs> huh? The faculty office? I think it's that way. Actually, I'm new here, so you should probably ask someone else. Okay, can we actually interact with the board at all? Class rosters are posted. My name is added on a small note off to the side. Class 2F Analog Vernacular. Huh? The name Yukari Takaba is also on the list. It seems that I'll be in the same class as her. Alright, cool. Listen closely. A true man should always carry the fiery soul of a samurai within them. Our school curriculum nurtures the samurai spirit within our students so that they contribute to society. Oh la la, how wonderful. I wish to set my soul on fire and learn the ways of the great samurai also. That's what I like to hear, my boy. 
Though you hail from a foreign land, the samurai spirit burns within you all the same. All right. So during my last playthrough, anytime I had to voice this character right here, it was pretty brutal. <laughs> so hopefully you all won't have to hear me try and do my French accent because I'm really bad at it. I'm sure it was downright offensive to uh, most people <laughs> from France. <laughs> and I apologize for that. All right, doesn't seem to be making too much of a difference, so I'm gonna keep the V-Sync on. I can feel my mind starting to wander as I wash my hands. Whenever I see cherry blossoms in full bloom, it feels like springtime has finally arrived. Okay, faculty office over here. Library here. Oh, hello. Huh? The library? Strange. I even made sure to check the map, but where am I? Welfare training room and then, yep. Oh, printing room. Where's the, um... There should be... Huh. They may have moved a couple things around. So library... Nurse's office right there. Okay, maybe I was just turned around. Okay, faculty office. Should I go in? Are you the new student? Huh. Hmm. You're a second year, correct? Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see, 10 years ago, your parents... Ugh. I'm sorry, uh, I've been so busy, I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Ms. Toriumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Thanks, it's uh, nice to meet you. Wow, such enthusiasm. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F, that's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Come on, I'll show you the way. And so, another new school year is upon us. I'd like each of you to remember the proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... The principal continues with the speech. Psst. Hey. You came to school with Takeba-san this morning, right? Yep, that was me. Saw you two walking together. You must be pretty close, huh? Very. What's the deal between you and her? Yeah. No? Guy doesn't and, say. Uh, does she have a boyfriend? <laughs> Nobody seems to know. Not your business. I don't know. Oh, really? I thought you might know, but I guess not. Wait, how close are you guys? Who's that? Someone's talking. Yeah, sounds like it's coming from Miss Toriyumi's class. Hey, shh, be quiet. You're gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> nice. Alice never goes halfway. What's up, dude? How's it going? What? Don't look at me like that. And you are? Me? Call me Junpei. Junpei Yuri. I transferred here when I was a second year in middle school. It's pretty tough being the new kid at first, you know? So I just wanted to say, hey, see what a nice guy I am? Didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> there you go again, acting like everybody's best friend. Try not to make him uncomfortable, okay? What? I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? Must be fate. I don't have the courage to say this right now. <laughs> Maybe I could say stuff like this without hesitation if I was at least determined. I'm not cool enough yet. Anyway, who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? 
Yeah, I know. Funny, huh? Um, hello? Are you forgetting I'm in this class too? Anyway, I gotta ask. I heard you guys walk to school together. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. Huh? What are you talking about? I mean, about? he's certainly not we shy. We just happen to live in the same dorm. Why do people always jump to conclusions? Have rumors been spreading about this already? Now I'm worried. Hey, you didn't tell anyone about you know what, did you? You know what? Don't tell me you forgot already. Seriously. Don't say anything about last night, okay? <laughs> He's like, wait, what? What? Last night? Wait a minute, don't get the wrong idea. Now the Listen, rumors are really gonna go I wild. I just met him yesterday, and there is absolutely nothing between us. Jeez, I have to go now. There's something I need to take care of for the archery team. You better not start any more rumors. Ah, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's so paranoid. But hey, it's your first day here, and people are already talking about you. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You the man. Ha, <laughs> thanks, Junpei. Well, here's to a fun school year, dude. You ready to head out? We can walk to the station together. You know, that little MP3 that he wears around his neck? I used to have one exactly like that. Should we also take a look around the school while we're at it? I'll just follow you around. If you want to leave, head for the front entrance. Oh yeah, we're gonna look around for sure. Look, like, look at these 3D environments. Look at, like, looking through the window. Oh, cherry blossom trees. This looks amazing. 60 FPS, 4K. Oh, you're that transfer student. You gonna join a club or something? Well, I'm planning on it. Oh yeah? You won't be able to join right away though. I hear a lot of them are at max capacity. Well, just keep an eye out for an open spot. They might start recruiting again in late April. Noted. Don't you feel completely lost whenever you transfer to a new school? This is the second floor and the one below has the faculty office, club rooms, and more hands-on classes. If you go down either of the two staircases, you'll be able to reach the front entrance. Hey, new kid, you have no idea how lucky you are. You're surrounded by cute girls in 2F, like Takabasan. Don't be weird about it, bro. Yeah. Well, if you're trying to leave, you gotta go floor down. What, did you forget? Or something? New school years sure are rough. New teachers, new classmates, it's exhausting having to start over every year. Go. Yeah. All right, let's go. See that guy poking his head through the window? Hi, Takabasan. Hey. Oh, you're leaving now? You know how to get back, right? Junpei, don't go teaching vernacular kun any weird stuff, all right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 catch you later, Yukatan. You can tell how fashionable a person is by how they wear their school uniform. I'm gonna brush up on the latest trends to show off my best self. Okay, we got our computer room. Oh. Are you a techie? Seems like it's normal to have a computer in every household nowadays. Got the PA room. <laughs> Should we uh, broadcast my angelic voice? <laughs> Just kidding. By the way. Student council. When was the new president gonna be elected again? Just because it's a new school year doesn't mean the students should be running wild. It's up to me to reinforce order, that is, since I've officially become a member of the disciplinary committee. You think so? You're making a sour face again, Odagiri-kun. I guess some things never change? Oh, did you just transfer to our school? Right, well, just so you know, the only person I'm interested in is Kirija senpai She looks so stunning as today's welcoming at at today's welcoming ceremony, too. I promise, I can read. Okay, student council room here again. By the way. Did you hear the new transfer student's gonna be in 2F? Oh my gosh, what if he turns out to be really cute? Wanna go steal a peek? Oh yeah, apparently he's staying at Iwatodai Dorm, the one Takabasan's staying at. 
But isn't it kind of weird that a transfer to transfer schools is a second year? I wonder if he was a troublemaker at his last school. Okay. Nah. That's where the classrooms for the other grades are. There's nothing for us there. If you want to go to the rooftop, you gotta use the stairs on the other side. Fair enough. Oh, there is a run button. That's R2. <sighs> I'm already going to be a second year. I hope I can fit in with my new class. Alright, anybody else out here? It's wild just how familiar everything is. Even though the last time we played, we were playing in Persona 3 Portable, where all of this was top-down. Hmm. Huh? This door leads to the courtyard, which leads to the gym. Or was it the practice field? Oh, I'm so confused. Yeah, there should be the Persimmon tree out here. Uh, you're in class 2E, right? Guess you're stuck with a coda for homeroom. That sucks. What? Oh, stop laughing. There's a bunch of gloomy weirdos in that class, too. Man, I hope something interesting happens. Something thrilling. That tree seems special for some reason. I wonder why it's there. Why is it planted here all alone? <laughs> well, this is kind of a random place for a single tree. What kind of tree is it anyway? Okay. So yeah, you may be noticing that uh, I'm talking to everybody. This is going to be pretty normal for me. I generally play pretty slowly, and uh, I generally try to look around and uh, experience the game at my own pace, which tends to be thoroughly. <laughs> so hopefully you all will enjoy that. If you don't, just know that this might not be the playthrough for you. This is the gym. I think the Kendo team uses it for practice. Also, everything that isn't voiced, I will be voicing, so... Practice field. It's pretty much just the track team that uses it. Apparently it's top of the line in terms of quality. All right. What do you want? I'm a little busy here. I got a text. I got to text all the new friends I made today. Okay, we got the art room. This is where the art club paints and stuff. Maybe I should get them to paint my beautiful physique. Oh, maybe. The laboratory. You think we could get rich if we did alchemy during chemistry class? Okay, then we got the science room. Uh, there might be chemicals in there, so you probably shouldn't go in. I think the photography club sets up here. I wonder if there are any juicy photos inside. I think... Do you play an instrument? I play the guitar a little. Music room? Okay. Hmm. Music prep room. Well, instruments take up so much space and we don't even use them that much. Mm. Do we actually have home ec classes? Wait, why am I asking you? Home ec room? These classrooms are also used for club activities, not just for lessons. Typically it's the culture clubs that use them, but they don't seem to be accepting new members right now. Okay. Back out into the lobby. Now I think this just takes us back up to, yep, where our classroom is. Can I go up here? Probably not, right? Why? That's where the classrooms for the other grades are. There's no exit that way, dude. Oh, sorry, have it. We're still setting up shop today. We'll have a wide selection of products ready, so come back another time if you want to buy something. Hi, Karijo Senpai. Yes. Oh, it's you. Be careful on your way back. I'll be heading to the dorm soon as well. Don't stay out too late. You got it, Mama. I couldn't sleep last night because I kept thinking about school starting, so I came to the nurse's office to nap but that nurse gave me some weird medicine instead. I turned it down because it looked really gross. Only a brave soul would dare drink something like that. Okay. Can we go and talk to him right now? Hmm. Probably not, right? Uh, the teacher in the nurse's office is, uh, well, he's an interesting guy. All right, I think we're good. 
Let's go ahead and head out. Yo. You ready to get out of here? Yep. That's right. Let's get going. <laughs> Akihiko in the background, just surrounded. If you don't know these people, don't worry, you will. Just give it time. Hey, you thinking about joining a club? Oh, wait. New members gotta wait a while before they can apply. Your stops at Iwatodai, right? Forms, man. Must be nice. Talk about living life wild and free. Well, I'm going this way, so see you tomorrow. All right, nice to hang, Junpei. All right, we are at Iwatodai Station now. A uh, precocious girl. Everyone's excited because school's starting, but I don't really care. News has been really weird lately. I even saw some policemen around here earlier. We received a call from this area. Is everything okay? Uh, oh, not this again. It's the same as that weird syndrome being reported all over the news. Oh, guess a new school semester started. I was wondering why I've been seeing so many students around. The world's a strange place these days. These kids better prepare themselves for the future. Okay, to the strip mall. My friend has a cat, and it's so cute. And I'm not allowed to have one though, so I just try to get my fill of cats by looking at the strays. I want to eat some takoyaki. Huh? Uh, who are you? I'm not allowed to talk to strangers, sorry. Smart kid. Hey there, kid. Haven't seen you around these parts before. Our takoyaki's lip smacking good. You'll be asking for more before you know it. Yeah, what happened to all of the coffins that were out here the other night? What do you mean you don't know what I'm talking about? Okay. We got Wild Duck Burger. Their mystery burger seems to be a popular item. Maybe I should try it sometime. <gasps> I love these two. Oh, are you a student from school around here? Well, you'll be glad to know you can get some quality sushi close by. I make it right here. Drop by sometime if you want. Oh, actually, our shop is still under renovation. I'm sorry. Deary. Well, we are a bookstore, not a sushi restaurant. I'm sorry, he's always like that. There are so many great shops here, I can't help but swing by. Oh, uh, I'm out here for work right now. I'm not slacking off. Okay. So, go elsewhere. We should be able to go upstairs. Yeah. Man, I'm stuffed after that meal. Maybe I'll run a couple laps. I wonder if someone new will compete this year. Like a rival to get me fired up. Maybe. Who knows? You never know, my man. Wakatsu Kitchen. Looks like a casual restaurant with affordable set meals. Seems healthy. Maybe I should try it. Huh? Huh? Who are you? By the looks of it, we go to the same school. I'm busy trying to decide what to eat here. Should I go with the pork ramen and chase it with rice or perhaps a large hagakure bowl? Okay, hagakure ramen. Arai sweets. And let's see, can we go up one more? We can. Umiyushi beef bowls. A net cafe. And a vending machine. Nice. Town map. Use the town map to navigate your surroundings and move from one location to another. Visit as many spots in town as you can and they'll be added to the map. Oh look, okay, so they're gonna tell us when we have social links, requests, or multiple. You know I like that. Alright, so that's um, where we need to end our day. But of course that means that we're gonna go to uh, the Port Island Station first. Ooh, 
Ooh, that was that was clean. I like that. This station is the gateway to Tatsumi Port Island. The building's pretty modern. There's also a monorail with an incredible ocean view. The students who commute to Gekakon High sure are lucky. Someone seems to be cleaning the restroom. I better not disturb them. Welcome to Rafflesia. Sorry, we're currently in the middle of replacing the flowers we have in stock. Please come again some other time. Let's see. Station outskirts. Okay, so that's how we get to the station outskirts. Cool. A weak cat. Meow. Man, it's the same old BS every spring. Kids who don't know crap come wandering onto our turf. Who the hell are you? I ain't never seen your ass around here before. This ain't no place for little kids like you. Beat it. Mahjong parlor, Red Hawk. Cigarette smoke and a nervous tension fill the air. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. There's a bar at the bottom of the stairs. I wonder if it's open. Litter everywhere. Okay, we can go elsewhere from here. Nope, let's go back in to the station here. Look around a little bit more. It's so nice out today. Feels like springtime's arrived. Doesn't it? The cherry blossoms at Gekukan High were in full bloom, though they seem to have flowered a bit late this year. It's already a new school year? Ugh, going to school sucks. Monorail 2. I was stoked to ride it at first, but now it's just boring. Iwatodai is really fucking cool. I would love to go to school here. The movie theater here shows a different movie every day. Movies are great. You can use what you learn from them to improve yourself for just a bit of money and time. Screenshot movie theater. Looks like they show a different movie each day. Maybe I'll come watch one when I have the time. Okay. So somebody let me know, are they actually using different singers for the new renditions of these songs? I like the new renditions of the songs, I... I'm just wondering. There are all kinds of shops here at the Iwatodai Strip Mall. If you're craving delicious food, then head to Wakatsu. There's also Haga Curry, a famous ramen shop. You can also find dessert here, and burgers, and... Sorry, I'm just going on about food. <laughs> Guess it's eating time, just kidding. Alright, whatever, kid. <laughs> that uniform, you must be a student at Gekukan High. That's nice. Do you live in this dorm? It looks like Gekukan High went through a rough patch a while back, but it's been rebuilt into such a magnificent building. Oh, never mind me. Enjoy your new school semester this spring. Thank you, kind lady. All right, let's go into the dorm. Gave you a little tour of all the places we have access to right now. Welcome back. How was your first day at school? Honestly, not too bad. And coming home to you? Yes. Whew. What a nice, nice way to come home, huh? I see. Well, don't hesitate to ask your classmates for help if you need it. Oh, apologies. I didn't mean to keep you here. You've had a long day, so get some rest. I'm just like... I don't have, like, a face cam, but you just see me vibe into the music, like, for 90% of this. By the way... It's dangerous to go out on your own at night. Please refrain from doing so. Besides, you must be tired after today. You should make sure to get a good night's rest. Let's see what's on TV. On to other news. New information has been released regarding the apathy syndrome that has been on the rise. The Medical Association believes this may be a psychological disorder caused by environmental changes, such as... Okay. Another instance of the apathy syndrome. 
dorm register, list of residents, name is also listed. This would normally be a place for us to save in Persona 3 Portable, but I think we can probably just, yep, hit the start button and do it from there. Oh, welcome back. Oh, hey, what are you doing? Not much, how about you? Um, just killing time, I guess. Well, you're probably pretty tired after your first day, huh? Maybe you should go to bed early. The era of flip phones. It's so funny seeing that everybody has flip phones. <laughs> the door is tightly sealed. Kitchen looks spacious and practical, but it seems as though we can't use it yet. Huh, I wonder why that door is sealed. Okay, we have some bathrooms here. Freshen up. Whenever I see cherry blossoms in full bloom, it feels like springtime has finally arrived. I become a poet when I'm on the toilet. Okay. Okay, eventually we'll be able to buy things from these vending machines. Bunch of vacant rooms here. This one is ours. Upstairs is where uh, Yukari and um, Mitsuru are. Mitsuru's room. And no, where is... That's Yukari's room. More vending machines. Door's tightly sealed. And let's see if it'll let us go out up to the roof. Do not open. If open, close it. Okay. Oh, one more floor. My bad. First day down. I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? There's a lot going on. I know. Severe cases of apathy syndrome are suddenly developing in people who showed no symptoms prior. It's been quite a topic of discussion. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It's gotta be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay out there on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. This isn't a game, Akihiko. Man, we got to meet all sorts of characters today. I can hear people talking. Have you heard? The rumor about what was it again? The bathroom? Hold up. That's old news. Besides, it's just a ghost story, not a rumor. You're talking about that one girl, right? The second year? She stopped coming to school and just sits around staring at walls all day long. Whenever her mom tries to talk to her, the only thing she says is it's coming, it's coming. What? Is that really how the story goes? Whatever, it, it's probably all made up anyway. Some disturbing rumors seem to be spreading around the school. The first bell has rung. I wonder if people when they played this when it first came out were... Okay, time for class. They're, like, the previous games had a lot to do with rumors and stuff, and how rumors were basically made real. And I wonder if people were thinking that th this game was going to go down a similar, like, theme. Open your textbooks, and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zenzo Kasai. Ugh, why him? I've been more interested in Toto, Tota Kaneko's work lately. His essays are fantastic, and he's also a famous haiku poet. I wonder why all this isn't in the textbook. Well, I guess I'll just bring his book next time. 
Speaking of haiku, they often use words or phrases related to seasons, but it's easy to get them mixed up. For example, you'd think tasty bamboo shoots and vivid carp streamers would symbolize spring, right? Well, they're actually related to summer. Haiku poets usually refer to seasons based on their lunar calendar, making it fairly complicated. Hey, hey Iori, are you listening? Here's a question for you. Among these phrases, a rain of flowers, mystical mirage, and vivid carp streamers, which one symbolizes strump, uh, summer? What? What, what, um, Analog, you were listening, right? Lend a brother a hand. When going about your day-to-day -day life, you will come across certain actions that require the use of one of these stats, academics, charm, and courage. Social stats can be raised by doing various things around the city or by answering questions correctly in class. Keep an eye out for activities that might help you hone those skills. What phrase symbolizes summer? Um, let's see, does this have... Ooh, okay, that's the fast forward button. Um, I pushed the center pad and that one's acting like the start button. Okay, both of them do the same thing. What I was trying to do is see if the online feature works like it does in like Persona 5 and in Persona 4. Um, but yeah, we... Vivid Carp Streamers, right? Exactly. Yep, that's right. So you were listening to me after all. By the way, Mystical Mirage and A Rain of Flowers represent spring. A mirage is a natural phenomenon that occurs around late March to early June. And a rain of flowers refers to the spring showers around the time cherry blossoms bloom. It's not literally raining flowers. Make sure you remember all that. Our next topic is... <laughs> well, you know how much I like to pay attention. You're a lifesaver! You seriously saved my bacon. Vernacular Coon gave him the answer just now. He must have a good memory or something. I can hear my classmates whispering. I've become slightly more popular. Hell yeah. If only it were that easy in real life. I was never a cool kid. I should head back to the dorm. Man, these locales look so good. I'm loving this. There's Junpei again. The Iwatodai strip mall is bustling with activity in the afternoon. Oh, he's back. So, this is our new guest. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Please, have a seat. I apologize for the confusion regarding your accommodations, but it may take a bit longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Who else lives here? There are only four students in this dorm. You, Takeba-kun here, Kirijo-kun, and a third year named Akihiko Sanada-kun. I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? Why are you here? To welcome you, of course. You don't mind, do you? Speaking of which, Takeba-kun, have you seen Kirijo-kun by any chance? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. But it couldn't hurt to come down and say hello. <laughs> Is there anything else? She doesn't want to hear your jokes, old man. The other night I saw... You saw... something strange? Like what? <sighs> you were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. Something doesn't seem right. Any other questions? No, I'm good. Excellent. Here's to a wonderful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm sure you're worn out from all these formalities. You may want to consider going to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. <laughs> Get it? Bookworm? <laughs> because you're students? Kill me now. Oh, clever, isn't it? 
kill me. Just let me die. Damn it, Akutsuki. You'll get used to his lame jokes. Will I? I guess I'll head back to my room, too. Like the chairman <laughs> said, you should get some rest. Transferring schools is a real pain when you're not used to it. Good night. I should listen to them and go rest in my room. Hello there. So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's currently fast asleep. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Come on, what do you say? I can't leave a pretty girl standing around in the cold like this. Mm, what do you think, Mayumi? I mean, I'm cool with it, but if my parents found out... They don't need to know. Just drop them a text. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Uh, this sucks. <laughs> I'm serious! I was scared yeah, shitless! Right. Nice story, though. That was the Bayside Rockers, brought to you by KJ. And that's all for tonight, folks. Tune in again next week, same time, same place. <laughs> the program you just heard was sponsored by Kirijo Electronics, bringing the future to you. The time is now 12 a.m. Here we go. What the? What's happening to me? still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. He may be asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Though, come to think of it, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. Mystery Deepens. Oh, here we go. Yes. Velvet Room, let's go. Oh, in 3D. My queen. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Okay, okay. Is this the new voice actor? It's gotta be, right? I was wondering if they were gonna remaster his old voice lines or if they were gonna get a new voice actor, but I don't think that sounds like the original voice actor. So, did they get a new one? Somebody let me know in the comments. Let me know uh, who's voicing Igor in this game. Very cool. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. And the best attendant in all of Persona. To meet you. Oh, <laughs> honored. <laughs> this place exists between dream and reality. Mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. That's the document I signed at the door. From now on, you shall be welcome here as a guest in the Velvet Room. You were destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my assistance to do so. I only ask one thing in return abide by your contract 
and assume full responsibility for the choices you make. Is this a dream? Precisely. You are fast asleep in the real world as we speak. This visit of yours is merely a dream. However, you will come here of your own accord sooner or later. Hold on to this. The Velvet Key. Until we meet again. Oh, we, f we finally get our... Velvet Room Attendant Queen in glorious HD 3D. I mean, technically we got her in like the dancing games and stuff, but you know, this is beside the point. You, I'm excited, okay? Don't take that away from me. <laughs> Feels like I had a strange dream. It's time to go to school. I love Elizabeth. Morning. Yo, I'm so sleepy today. In times like these, the best course of action is to sleep during class. That adrenaline rush you get from dozing off right in front of the teacher can really spice up your dreams. Don't sleep in class, Junpei. Oh, you think so? Whoa, you take studying pretty seriously, huh? But it takes real courage to sleep in class, you know. Then again, since I'm not listening to the lecture, I'm pretty much screwed later. Ah, uh, but we have classic literature today. That means we're stuck with Mr. Nasty Old Dakota. Moving on. Ahem. I'm Mr. Okoda, and I'll be your classic lit teacher. We'll be learning all about good old Japan through some truly great stories. Exciting, right? Now, some people say classic lit isn't relevant anymore, but oh, are they wrong? Students, the other teachers, they don't know what they're talking about. Nobody really understands it like they should. I'm feeling sleepy. Should I close my eyes for a few minutes? All right, so. We stay awake, we get academics. We close our eyes, we get courage. Stay awake. Good grief. Hey, are you even listening to me? Let's wake up, shall we children? Now open your textbooks. First on your our syllabus is Issei Monogatari, the or origin of Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story. You youngsters might even call it Da Bomb. No, no, Lakota. I can tell you people are zoning out on me. I force myself to stay awake and listen to the lecture. Academics. I mean, right now we're a slacker, but we'll, we'll work on that. Sup? How's it going? Want to stop somewhere on the way home? Yeah, where? I don't know. Maybe grab a bite to eat? That's right. You're new around here. No worries. I'll show you. It's just around the corner from here. Let's go. This is Polonia Mall. Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, we end up coming here. There's a karaoke box, an arcade. Oh, yeah, you can rent out CDs, too. And there's that club over there. Not that I've ever got it myself. This place may not look like much, but I'm not complaining. Let's check out the CDs first. Oh, whoa, that's new. I gotta try this. Let me show you my mad crane game skills. Ah, damn it! Oh, come on, man. I am not leaving empty-handed. Dude, I'm gonna look from the side. Yeah, that's it, yo. One more try. Just one more. I hung out with Junpei for a while before heading back to the dorm. Welcome back. Well, you're pretty late. I don't mean to be overbearing, but please don't make this a regular occurrence. Well, in any case, you look quite tired. Why don't you go to bed early tonight? Alright, L1 will display a map of your current location and shortcuts that will allow you to fast travel. 
When it's displayed, you can open the town map directly from the shortcut selection screen. Some shortcut destinations, or even the shortcut function itself, may be unavailable in certain situations. Okay, we'll give ourselves another quick save here. So boom, we can go straight to our room if we want to. Now let's see. Okay, it does give you little dots to show you that there are people there. Right now they're solid white. Let's talk to them and see if they like gray out or anything. By the way. I guess there was a dorm mother here once who cooked and stuff, but it's just us students now. Maybe that's why we have such a nice kitchen. It seems like a waste not to use it. Yeah, kind of does. I think... I don't know that I'd really be able to make good use of it, though. And Kurija senpai doesn't do stuff like cooking, but I would feel kind of bad if no one ever used it. Oh, right. I must say, the moon looks quite stunning on this hazy spring night. Though tempting as it may be to spend a night such as this gazing at the sky, I suggest you head to bed early and get some rest. Don't worry, there will be more full moons. Okay, they don't gray out. I was just curious, but... Not that big of a deal. So which one is Aki's room? There seems to be no one inside. Okay. Okay, can we actually check a calendar? Not yet, okay. Totally fine. I feel exhausted. Maybe it's because I haven't gotten used to living here. Just, who was that old man from the dream I had last night? And what was that contract all about? How is he? Looks like he's a little worn out. He went to bed without changing out of his uniform. Other than that, nothing has changed since last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. This subject is rather... unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. Oh, don't look at it like that. The two of you are classmates, right? So something I'm noticing right now is that they're actually adding like hues and rim light to the portraits based on the settings that they're in. So right now where we have like this like kind of like greenish yellow glow from these screens and whatnot, like they're actually on the character portraits. That's a really nice touch. One that I wasn't expecting, to be honest with you. Consider it an opportunity to have someone your own age here. Besides, we need all the help we can get. I guess that's true, but still... Command room speaking. Akihiko, what's wrong? <clears throat> You're not gonna believe it. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, it's chasing after me right now. I'm almost back. Just letting you know in advance. Does that mean... He's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, that's enough observation for now. We need to prepare for combat. Uh, right. Be careful. Akihiko! Ah. <laughs> I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. Is it one of them, Sanada-kun? Yeah, but not an ordinary one. Ah! What was that? You've got to be kidding me! Mr. Chairman, 
Please head for the command room. Takeba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. Ooh, this music. You're the one who led it to us, Akihiko. So I'm going to have you fight. It's not like I asked it to follow me. What are you waiting for, Takeba? Go! Uh, okay. Love the update to this track. A loud noise woke me up. I should check what's happening outside. Got a short sword. She's just carrying okay. that around. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? Oh, well, that's yes, cool. I hear you. Be careful. There appears to be more than one enemy. The primary one's lurking somewhere nearby. Man, the vibes are so much stronger with like this 3D presentation. We have to get to safety. You got it. Yeah. I wonder if Kurijo Senpai and the others are okay. Uh, let's get away upstairs. All right, let's hurry. It's getting closer. I need to calm down. It's gonna be okay. Getting to safety is our priority now. Um, so any of these new voice actors, I would love it if people would comment down below and let me know what other things that they've um, voiced in. Because I'm pretty sure I recognize her voice. I, I'm sure I've heard her in something, but... Sorry. I know this is sudden and you are sleeping. I promise I'll explain later. Excited for this scene. Oh my god, I'm so happy. No way. Oh, that's so creepy. It hurt. It's here. <laughs> Wait. Thou, thou art it's happening! 
From the sea of thy soul, I come. I am Orpheus, master of strengths. Just as we thought. Was brutal. I love so much that they showed the strange boy during that awakening, thematically. Very cool. Kutsky's shook. Is it over? No! No! G get away from me! I need to protect her. <laughs> Oh, baby, 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 baby. Let's go. Okay, so Persona, we got our Augie, and we've got a regular attack. Let's go regular attack to start with. Nice. Dodge right off the bat. All right, let's not mess around. Oh, that's so good. Why is that so cool? Like, chill out, bro. You don't have to go that hard, Atlas. Oh, that looks awesome. You know I love that. The monsters are gone. to see you again. You lost consciousness after awakening to your power. Ooh, I see that it was Orpheus who heeded your call. Very interesting. That was the power of Persona, the manifestation of your psyche. My psyche? A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. Honestly, old man, I don't get it. The power of a persona is the power of one's soul. And the soul is fueled by the depth of one's bond. As you form these bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The strength of these social links will foster the growth of your persona abilities. Please remember this. Now then, time 
marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. That was awesome. My head is getting clear. I can feel someone's presence beside me. You're awake! How do you feel? Where am I? Thank goodness you finally woke up! Oh, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong. He said you were just exhausted. Hey, um, I'm sorry I wasn't helpful at all back there. But wow, that power of yours was really something. What were those things? You mean the shadows? They're what we're fighting against. And that power you used, we call it Persona. Don't worry, we'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh... I wanted to tell you something. I can kinda relate. To you, I mean. What do you mean? My dad died in an accident when I was little. And my mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, aren't you? To be honest, I already heard about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine too. This was a while ago, but... There was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast, but nobody really knows what happened. At the time, he was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group, so I'm hoping if I stick around long enough, I'll find out more about it. That's why I'm going to Gekukon High, and why I was there when this happened to you. Not that I was much help. I kind of panicked. That was my first time facing them too. Sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I weren't such a coward. Honestly, I was scared too. Really? But still. Sorry for telling you all this the minute you opened your eyes. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you're okay. They said you could leave once you regain consciousness. So I think you're free to go home. See you! Oh, welcome back! I gotta say, I'm so relieved now that you're out of the hospital. Don't push yourself though, do you want to get some rest? Don't worry, your room's safe now. Rija senpai said she'll be late today. I guess she's processing some paperwork for you. Hey, try not to overdo it at school tomorrow, okay? Alright, that was pretty eventful. Let's see if Akihiko's in his room. Okay, still can't go in there. So, let's head to our room. Okay, so this seems like a great place for us to end this episode. I am very, very pleased with this so far. <laughs> I'm really, really enjoying all of this visual treat that I'm just chewing up right now. Um, game's looking amazing. All of the new voice actors are crushing it. I'm, I'm just excited. I'm just excited to keep going. And unfortunately, I have to end this episode and go to bed and then go to work in the morning. But as soon as I'm back from work, guess what I'm going to be doing the rest of the night? Playing more of this. So I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you all for being here. 
Um, make sure that you like and subscribe, and if you're new here, go and check out some of my other playthroughs. Like I said, lots of Persona stuff, lots of Shin Megami Tensei, lots of other RPGs, and lots of strategy tactics games. So go and check them out, and uh, you know, there's going to be something there that you're going to enjoy. So have a good one, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlado101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Turkeyfoot27, Pedo Kuto, Shadow Raven, Anna Cape the Great, The Blue Electric Cat, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.